Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Power Gunner, and this is my Q&A video type thing. I want to do one of these like every two months about, so that I can have quite a bit of viewer interaction here, and so that you guys can know more things about me and what's going on with my channel and stuff. Also, there are a lot of questions talking about Infamous Second Son. Uh, there might be some spoilers, but I won't really spoil that much in here if, like, hardly anything. Most people wouldn't even think of it as, like, spoiler, so I'll try to spoil as little as possible, so you're probably fine watching this. The game's story isn't that good to spoil anyways, I mean, <laughs> uh, I'll try not to be mean to the game some. Alright, and I'll just wait for my review for talking about all that stuff. Anyways, that was my cat, which I'll talk about later. There's actually a question that is relating to that. But anyways, what's the main reason that you made your YouTube account? Well, I actually made it so that I could upload YouTube videos. Next question. No, I'm just kidding. I'll give more of an explanation. Uh, I saw some people putting their gaming videos on YouTube, and I was a gamer. I liked doing it, and I wanted to do it. I'd been wanting to do it for like a few years before I actually did it, so then I just finally did it. And yeah, I really like it, and I thought I would like it, and I do, so that's why I did it. Have you completed evil and good in Infamous Second Son? The answer is yes. My Let's Play series, or two series I'll be doing, aren't caught up yet with my good one. I'm... meow, yes, meow. I'm a bit over halfway through editing all of my good and, and like uploading my good let's play and then I have the evil one too which is a lot shorter because I don't do side mission type things in it and I already know the game basically so yeah uh, the evil one is also on expert difficulty and I actually have the platinum trophy right now I got it a little while back like a little bit more than a week ago I guess my cat's on my desk doing crazy things. I have finished it on Good and Evil. I've done everything. I've got the Platinum. Oh, except for I haven't finished Paper Trail yet. What's your favorite Infamous game out of all three? Okay, let's not read all of this at once. My favorite Infamous game out of all three would be Infamous 1. My second favorite Infamous game is Infamous 2. My third favorite Infamous game is Infamous Second Son. They just so happen to be in the order of how they came out. I wish it didn't have to be like that, but it is. Okay. And also, what is your favorite power? Okay, my favorite power in all of the Infamous games, this has taken some thought, and this isn't by far my favorite power, but I'd say it's the third power that you get in Infamous Second Son. I'm trying not to spoil that, so I'll just say that, yeah, it, it's the third power that you get in Infamous Second Son. And I think it's pretty awesome, and I think I might like using the power more on evil because the execute for that is like really fun. I apologize if you said this already in your walkthroughs, haven't been keeping up as well as I should be. I figure you've already be on both endings. Blah, 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 blah. Which ending did I like more? I liked the evil ending more. I hope the next game takes place after the evil ending. I'll be making some videos kind of talking about that, of course, in the future. Most likely once I've finished uploading my playthroughs of the game. But the reason why I like the evil ending more, which I won't spoil, but it is here. I like it more because there's like really good acting in it. And it's something like really unexpected that could form Delson into an interesting character for the next game. And with the good one, it's really expected and super predictable. It's, it's, it's just like super boring and I didn't like it. So... Yeah. What is your favorite aspect of Infamous and congrats on 500 videos? Okay, my favorite aspect of Infamous, why I like Infamous so much, and this is really with the first game, and it's why the first game is my favorite. The one overall thing is just that everything fits together so well with the story, because there's this like awesome story in Infamous 1, and it's like awesome, and there's like twists and turns, and it's long enough and paced really well but then the way that the city is and how the civilians feel and the side missions that all fits in with the story and how this is a broken city and it really puts you into a really interesting 
gaming universe experience. And it's really immersive, and I love that with Infamous 1. That's also, or wait, maybe not also, because I kind of already said that, but that's why it's my favorite Infamous game. And that's what got me hooked on Infamous. Who's your favorite Infamous character, and why? My favorite Infamous character is Zeke, because he's funny, and he also has super good acting, and it's not just that he's funny, he has some very emotional sides with him and some twists happen and stuff, obviously. Yeah, he's just a really awesome character, and Infamous kind of doesn't feel like Infamous without Zeke. So, yeah, uh, Zeke is one of my favorite things in the second Infamous game, and I can give Infamous 2 a lot of crap about other things, but then I'm always like, well, you know what? Zeke was really awesome. And by the way, I have been putting together my review for Infamous Second Son, and I have been thinking a lot lately, like even since the game came out, just thinking um, how it compares to the past two games, and how they all compare with each other, with how good they are and stuff. And um, I am going to be redoing the reviews for Infamous 1 and 2, because A, I want to talk about more things in them that I feel I didn't do well, and now that I have more experience with kind of like reviewing more games and stuff, I think I could do a better job on them. And I will be deleting the videos saying their updated score with my new review system because back when I did review them, I used a scale of 1 to 10, but that was kind of problematic for me and it didn't work well for what I was trying to do for my reviews. And I, I will say that right now, Infamous 1 for the review that I will be redoing for it, that is still going to be fantastic. That's my favorite game of all time. And Infamous 2 won't be fantastic anymore, but I'm not going to give away what it is, and I'm not going to say what I'm giving Second Son yet. Just so that I can make sure that you guys actually watch the review, because some people only care about the score, which is really dumb. They should care about what the person has to say about the game that gives it that score, so... Yeah. Anyways, this kind of continues from the last one, because I sorted these in a nice way. How did you feel when you saw Zeke in Infamous Second Son? I was... Happy that they put him in there, although he's hardly in there. He's in the Cole's Legacy DLC, so not everybody gets to experience that. I like that he was in there, I wish he was actually physically in there and doesn't just call you like twice or something and doesn't even have that many lines. I'll say that I was disappointed that he wasn't in the game more than he was, but I was excited that he was at least in the game. Who do you think would win in a fight, Delson Rowe or Cole McGrath, and do you think Delson could beat the Beast? Okay, first question. I think Delson could beat Cole just because Delson can move faster and stuff. That's really like the biggest difference with their powers is Delson can just move faster. I guess that would just have him be able to do that. They both have very strong powers that are kind of similar. In some ways, and Delson can only use one of his powers at a time. So I don't really know. I'd say that Delson would probably win because he has better mobility than Cole. And do you think Delson could beat the Beast? Well, if Cole could beat the Beast and if Delson could beat Cole, except for Cole only beat the Beast with the RFI, and Delson doesn't have an RFI. So what Delson could do, there's like a few different things that he could do. He could destroy the beast and then it would just put itself back together. Or Delson could absorb the beast's power and then fight him with that. I don't know if that could have any chance of taking him out. I would guess it might be able to. So either he can absorb the beast's power and use that against him somehow and be able to wipe him out for good, or Delson just couldn't beat him because he doesn't have an RFI, so yeah. But then that's also considering if the beast could possibly be fighting Delson and yeah, but basically that's my answer, it's really confusing. Next question. Okay, this one has a lot of questions, which I like it when people give me a lot of questions. Number one, if you were a conduit, what powers would you have? Uh, you know what? I don't really get a say in what powers I get. I just kind of get what I end up getting. I did take the, like, paper trail conduit quiz, which is pretty dumb, actually. It's just a bunch of weird questions. Um, that doesn't mean I'm going to have the concrete power just because that website said I would. Like, I, I, I've no clue how everything works with conduit activation. It's never been fully explained, but I guess, like, each person when they're activated, ends up getting a different power. I have no clue what mine would be. What I would want mine to be, though. Honestly, I don't know what I would want it to be exactly. The third power 
and Infamous Second Son is my favorite one, I'd say. Um, but if I had to come up with a new power or something, hmm. Actually, I might just want to have electricity. I'm not sure, but yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that. Number two, if you had all the money in the world, what would you do with it? Okay, so first, I'd want to help people out. Try to do some good things with it. I won't go into too much detail of that, because it'll probably just sound kind of boring and stuff. Yeah, i try to do some, like, good things with it, or, you know, good things that you could do with a lot of money. And then, for spending it on myself, I pretty much just like buy a house. I don't care about having a cool car. I could care less about cars. And I would buy all of the gaming things that I want. That's the main thing that I'd want more money for. It's just buying more uh, gaming things, because gaming is actually really expensive, and I don't always get to get as many games as I want to get, because I just don't have enough money for it, and I'd get an Xbox One, I would get a really good PC so that I could do PC gaming and yeah I just buy a lot of games and other gaming things I'd like buy a better microphone for YouTube and some other YouTube related things basically alright three what is the best prank you've ever pulled I don't know exactly because I can't really think of any one prank that was really cool it's more of just I do a lot of little things that might even not be considered pranks. I've done some like trolling videos before and stuff, which I'll actually get to with a later thing. For what type of music do you listen to? I listen to kind of a wide variety of stuff. I like alternative music, I like rock, I like some classical things, um, I like soundtrack music, like especially if it's something that I like, like some movie that I like, or some game that I like, then I really like listening to the soundtrack. Like, if that's a good soundtrack. And then pretty much, just the stuff. Like, I'm I'm pretty open to listening to things. Oh, also, I like electronic music or, like, dubstep-ish music. Pretty much the only music I don't like listening to is pop and rap and most country, at least. Uh, just because in those genres, they, like, never talk about anything else, and all of the songs are really unoriginal. I have no clue how pop and rap are the most popular music genres in today's music-ishness because I think they are terrible. I'm not saying there aren't any good modern pop or rap songs, but most of them are terrible and they're just like the last song, so yeah, it's just really uh, crappy music and I really don't like listening to that, so yeah. Five, do you play any sports? I used to play sports. Um, I never really liked it that much, and that's kind of why I don't play sports now. I've just realized that I don't really like it, so why will I, like, do it if I don't like doing it, you know? Okay, six, what is your biggest fear? I'm not sure exactly. Like, off the top of my head, I would just think that probably, like, my biggest irrational fear would be spiders. Just because, like, whenever I see a spider that looks scary and has, like, really, like, angled legs that just make it look super evil and stuff, then I'm pretty scared of it. I'm also scared of bees and wasps, but I haven't been afraid of them as much as I used to be. But yeah, some, like, insects that can be dangerous, I'm scared of, although most, like, most spiders that you just see in your house aren't really dangerous. But I'm just scared of them, just because they, like, look evil. I, I, I don't know why. It's dumb, but at the same time, I'm, like, really scared of spiders. Am I a good liar? Um, yes, but I might be lying about that. Okay, eight, what is your favorite food? I can't choose, like, one favorite thing, and no, I'm not gonna say pizza. That's what everybody says when they don't know what to say. But I really like hamburgers a lot. That's also probably a common one, but they're, like, really good. If they aren't, like, fast food hamburgers, like, those are kind of, like, okay. But then, like, real hamburgers are pretty awesome. And, yeah, I like having cheese on there and some stuff. So it's not just, like, a hamburger, but it's, like, a cheeseburger. You've probably never heard of them. Okay, number nine. Who is your least favorite artist? I'm guessing this is like music artists, so it would definitely be a pop or a rap artist. I don't even know who all of them are. I know a lot of the popular ones just because they're popular and you, you like hear their names everywhere. But probably if I just had to think of one music artist that I just don't like whatsoever, I'd probably say Justin Bieber. He's just, I, I don't see what it is about him. Girls think he's cute or something, but he just seems like a really mean person, and his music isn't good in my opinion, so uh, yeah, that's why he's my least favorite music artist. 
Seven, will you ever make a Draw My Life video? Maybe, but if I do, it'll like be a few years down the road because I don't feel like I've lived enough of my life to do a Draw My Life yet, so yeah, I'm only 16 years old. What is your favorite game besides Infamous? Okay, second favorite game of all time besides Infamous 1 is Minecraft. And I am going to do a review of Minecraft once it's on PS4. I will review the like PS4 version, which will be for all of the versions, basically. Um, other than the Pocket Edition, because I play that, ugh, that is like terrible. But pretty much all of the versions of Minecraft in general on like console or PC are pretty much just as good as each other in my opinion. Who are your favorite gamer YouTubers? Okay, um, what first comes to mind is a group of YouTubers that call themselves The Crew, and I will link these people that I talk about in the description. And they're a group of like nine friends. Probably the most popular one in the group would be KYR Speedy. I uh, used to watch them back when Modern Warfare 3 was the current Call of Duty game that was out, and well, it's like still out like currently, but it but it was like the latest one. And I've just watched them ever since. It's cool to see that they're like really good online friends that met online and stuff and have been hanging out for years and they're just like really good friends and stuff and it's funny to watch them too. They're pretty funny, although they're kind of crazy with some things, but yeah. I watch a lot of their stuff, but not everything because it's like nine different channels uploading stuff, but yeah, they're some of my favorite YouTubers that are gamers. Also, I like Antastic, and I will link his channels below too. He's not like a really popular YouTuber. His biggest channel has like 20,000 subscribers or something near that. He hasn't been making as many videos lately. I hope he doesn't quit because I really like him. He's a funny uh, British guy, and yeah. He's uh, really cool, and I like him a lot. Okay, and who are my favorite non-gamer YouTubers? There's a lot of them, and I'm not sure exactly who. Um, I like Nigahiga, I like Smosh, but those are like really popular channels. Maybe some unpopular ones I can talk about. Um, here, I'm just going to go to my subscriptions and look at them. Oh, and sorry if this Q&A is kind of long, I'm trying to make it not as long as the last one, because, by the way, I haven't even talked about this yet or mentioned it. I am actually not answering every question, because I didn't want it to be super long like last time, but I got most of them, and pretty much the only questions that I'm not answering are ones that were like already asked by someone else. Um, I like Greg Miller from IGN, he's popular too, but but um, I like the podcast that he does with his friends from IGN called the Game Over Greggy Show. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, so there you go. First of all, congrats, thank you. And what is your favorite book and or movie? My favorite book or book series is the Skullduggery Pleasant book series. Uh, you can't buy all of them in the U.S. If you live in the U.S., you'll have to like order them off of Amazon or something. But it's going to be a nine-book-long series. There's eight out now. I think the ninth one comes out this fall or something. And it's super interesting. Uh, I will link some stuff about it in the description. And also, if I forget to link things in the description, then just please remind me by putting a comment saying, UP IN YOUR DESCRIPTION! Blah, TYPE IT IN ALL CAPS! Yeah, and then my favorite movie or movie series is probably The Lord of the Rings, and I also like the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. Yeah, have you ever thought of getting any other games than Infamous? Well, first off, yes, I have more games than just Infamous. Like GTA or make some funny Call of Duty moments. Alright, first off, GTA. I'm 16. My parents are probably more strict than most parents. My parents do not allow me to play Grand Theft Auto because of the nudity as the main reason. So, yeah, uh, pretty much any games with nudity I'm not allowed to play and some other M-rated games I'm not allowed to play. I'll be 17 soon. And yeah, so I'll probably be able to play quite a few more of them, I would guess, maybe, I don't know. How my parents will decide on that. And funny Call of Duty moments. I don't play Call of Duty much anymore, I used to play it more. And back when I played it, I did make funny Call of Duty moment videos, so I'll link those in the description too, you should go check those out. I think they're pretty funny, kind of. Not everything's funny. And basically how my relationship works with Call of Duty 
is... I got Modern Warfare 3, and then I got Black Ops 1, and then I got Black Ops 2. And my favorite thing in Call of Duty is the Zombies mode, and that was in Black Ops 1 and World at War. Although, I... I I don't have Call of Duty World at War, but you get those zombie maps in Black Ops 1 if you get all of the DLC for it. And I love zombies in that, it's awesome. I am going to do reviews of that pretty soon. And I think that Zombies was ruined in Black Ops 2, I will also do a review of Black Ops 2 Zombies. And I hated that they did that. Ugh. Yeah, it, it was basically terrible in my opinion. And... With the other Call of Duty things, such as multiplayer and campaign, first off, I've only played a little bit of some Call of Duty campaigns because it was boring and super cliche and dumb. And for the multiplayer, I will link this video too. Um, I will link the video where I basically said I'm quitting making Call of Duty videos and I'm not going to be hardly ever playing Call of Duty multiplayer. There's reasons for that that it says in that video, uh, but the main reasons I could just say now is I don't like the community, and I don't like that the game comes out every year, and I don't like that they hardly change it every year, so yeah, that's why I am fed up with Call of Duty. How cool and hot are you? I'm guessing that means on a scale of 1 to 10. So how cool am I? I'd say in the eyes of my peers, like people in my high school. I'd say, like, I'm, I'm guessing on average, the average person in my high school would say on a scale of 1 to 10 that I am like a 2 out of 10 for how cool I am because I'm, I'm not a very cool person probably in most people's opinions that are just high schoolers and stuff but they aren't very cool in my opinion so there but I'd say in my opinion how cool I am I would give myself an 8 out of 10 but that's my opinion so that's obviously going to be biased. And then, how hot am I? This is in my opinion, I don't know other people's opinions, but I'd say maybe a 3 out of 10, I'm not the most attractive person. Do you plan on doing a face cam video type of thing messing around in a video game? First off, I really do want to make more videos of messing around in video games and funny moments. I did want to do that with Infamous Second Sign, just cut out clips from my Let's Play and make montages, but then I realized I was already having to do a lot of editing, so I decided to not do it. But for other games, I will definitely do that in the future sometime. Not sure what games I will do that on, but yeah. And face cam. I've tried out a face cam before. It didn't work that well, I just didn't think it worked the best for that, or for those videos that I did. Um, and I might do it again. I'll, I'll definitely do it sometime again in the future. I just don't know when and for like what game and what camera, like I'll, I'll have to use my iPhone I guess, or how I will position it and stuff, I'm just not sure right now, so for now, you aren't going to be seeing anything in the near future I don't think. Okay, this is a PSN message, okay, congrats on getting 500 videos, well I, I didn't get them, I actually had to make them, but I get what you mean, and for your Q&A, if you could live in any video game world, what would it be? I'm gonna say Minecraft. Um, I'm not saying Infamous because I don't want to live in the world of like Infamous 1. That's a pretty crappy place to be in. Just because it's my favorite game doesn't mean I have to want to live there. But yeah, uh, Minecraft is just a really cool place. I'd like to set it to a peaceful mode and just be me and punch wood. When will you do another live stream? So, I don't do that many live streams. I, I really like doing live streams. Now that I think about it, I might do a live stream right after I record this, which this video would go up after I do that live stream if I even did it, so you'll know by the time that I upload this if I actually did that live stream. But I really like them, and I used to do them before I had nearly as big of an audience as I do now, and like no one watched them, so I felt like I was just being dumb and just sitting there and hoping people would come watch it, but yeah, but now, like, th the last one that I did was like a few months ago, I guess. I was just playing some Infamous 2 and messing around and some people actually watched it and were like commenting on it and it was really fun. So I would like to do it again. I can't live stream in the best quality, only 480p, but it's super fun just having that instant viewer feedback and stuff. It's just awesome, I think. So whenever I can, but I'm busy with school, so probably more over summer break, I guess. Is it raining tacos? Right now it is not, but it has before. What is your cat called? So I thought this was a really interesting question, maybe even one of the best ones that I was asked, because my cat meows a lot in my videos. So actually one thing that this person may not know is I have more than one cat. I have three cats. I have Garfield, 
He is an orange. He's the oldest cat I have. I can't remember. He's like seven, I think. And he likes to cuddle a lot. And he's like really good friends with me, you know? Um, that's Garfield. He doesn't meow that much in videos, but all three of my cats have meowed before in videos. Then there's Smudge. She's a white cat. She's a little bit younger, and she's really fat. And then there's Smidge, who is Smudge's sister, who is like the same age as her, and she's skinny. And she is the one who meows the most in videos, so... If you're hearing a cat meowing, it's most likely Smidge. And they are all really cute and awesome. So what's next for the channel? What will be the main focus after Second Son? So, basically here, I'm not sure if there will be a main focus, but I'm just gonna keep on playing games like I always have. I am still going to be doing some infamous related things for sure, and some things related to other games that I really like. Wait, let's just go to the next comment here because there's more stuff about the same question and then I'll talk about it more. Okay, basically this guy is wondering like what sort of let's play things I'll do after Second Son. Personally, he would like to see Watch Dogs. Well, unfortunately, although Watch Dogs looks incredible, it has nudity in it and I already discussed that, so... Sad face. So yeah, won't be doing Watch Dogs maybe in a few years when I can play it. <laughs> like, maybe right before Watch Dogs 2 is out, because there's probably going to be a 2, because the game looks pretty amazing, but we'll see how it holds up. So now, I will say my plans for the future. So, before I got Infamous Second Son, uh, within the week that it came out, I started getting bored, and I didn't want to look up spoilers on the internet, so I had to keep myself away from that. So, I got Bioshock Infinite, and... That Bioshock Infinite came with Bioshock 1, which I didn't even know I was going to get, and it was awesome, so uh, that that was like a free download from the PSN store. Then I was just like, I'm going to play Bioshock 1, and I might as well record it to be my next Let's Play after Second Son, although I played probably like two or three hours of it before Second Son was out, so you're going to see that sometime, but keep in mind that I did record it a while back, based on from when you're seeing it. Well, the first few parts of it. Yeah, so far, I like... Bioshock 1 a lot. It's pretty cool. And after Bioshock 1, I'll do Bioshock Infinite, which is a more recent game, so yeah. And I'll probably do the Burial at Sea DLC for Bioshock Infinite. Then, just some other things in series that will be going on at the same time as that will be well, I'll still keep on doing game reviews. And I will make some infamous Second Son trophy guides, which by the way, I have made up my mind. I am not doing every trophy. But yeah, I'll be making some infamous related videos, maybe some ideas for the next game, but I really don't want to do too much of that yet, because it's going to be a while until it's out and, like, it hasn't been announced and stuff, so I don't want to do too much of that yet, maybe just a few videos on that once in a while, and there might not even be another infamous game, I don't know. And then, one thing that's going to be pretty big for the channel that I'm really excited to start is I am going to be doing like a podcast thing where I get into a PlayStation 4 party chat with some friends. Mainly it's going to be me, Ian, Duck, and Alex who I'll link their channels if you don't know who they are. I've done some videos with them before, they're awesome. They're some pretty close friends in general. We'll do like podcast episodes every once in a while, talk about some things, maybe get some viewers suggested things, but don't suggest anything for the podcast yet because we have not really started that yet. We're just thinking about it. And then we'll have guests on sometimes and maybe guests will be in multiple episodes and maybe they'll just be on it so much that they'll just start being in the thing every time pretty much. And it won't like always be that like Duck for example is in every one. He might not be in every one and you know just we're gonna have fun and mostly talk about infamous things to start it off. I have already planned a lot of topics, but I'm sure they're going to bring their own topics to the table. And then, once Minecraft comes out for the PS4, which I'm not sure when it will, I'm guessing sometime in the summer, we plan on, like, same people pretty much, we plan on doing a Minecraft series, just doing some survival mode with co-op stuff, and that should be fun, because I really like Minecraft, and it'll be with my friends and stuff. For PS4 games that will be coming out for like other ones, there's going to be Destiny, which will be a while, I think that's in September. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting these games, not sure on the ratings of all of them yet and stuff, and if my parents will let me play them, but these are my plans for now. Shadow of Mordor, I think, uh, Middle-Earth Shadow of Mordor, I think I, We'll get that, but it depends. 
because I'm, I'm like not sure if that's going to be really good or really bad or what. And then Batman Arkham Knight, which by the way, I have only played like a little bit of Arkham Asylum. And I am going to play the rest of the games, probably not for YouTube, but ask me if you want that. Because if you guys really want it, and if I have time with making other videos, then I might do some Batman Let's Plays, but not of Arkham Asylum, because I'm already into it. Yeah, so I'll play those games, and I'll do reviews of them before Arkham Knight is out, and then I'll do a Let's Play of Arkham Knight. And I know I'll be able to play that, because it's going to be rated teen, pretty sure, because, like, all of the other ones are, so yeah, it's going to be rated teen. Tom Clancy's The Division looks awesome, so yeah. There's going to be that, I think. The next Uncharted game, I'm not sure when it comes out. I think 2015, it might be delayed till 2016, I don't know, but the next Uncharted game... I'll do that, that's quite a bit into the future. And the next Call of Duty game that has the zombies mode in it. I'll probably get that, I'll see if they've improved it, and if they haven't, and if it's still as terrible as it was in Black Ops 2, then I will probably disown Call of Duty as a whole and never buy another Call of Duty game again. So yeah, thank you guys for watching my Q&A, oh wait, I think that's all, let me just make sure. Yes, that's all. Thank you for all of the questions, hopefully this wasn't as long as the last one, I don't think it quite is, but it was still long, so I'd like to give you guys long explanations, because I don't want to just say, like, why do you play Infamous, and then I'd say, because it's fun. So anyways, thank you for watching, I'll do like another Q&A in two months or something, and you might want to leave some questions now, but I might not do them, I don't know. I'll just see, because your questions might not even make sense two months from now, so yeah, leave some questions if you want, but I will make another video saying leave questions on this video and then I'll do like a Q&A in a week or something once I'm going to do that. And yeah, those are my plans for the future of my YouTube channel. So sorry if I don't do infamous stuff constantly. I'm kind of burnt out on Second Son, but I need to finish doing my stuff. Then I'll be taking kind of a break, except for we'll be talking about it in the podcast, and I'll maybe do a few videos on it. But I always want to do some Infamous things, as long as Infamous continues to be a series, and as long as Infamous doesn't just turn into a terrible game over time or something. Thank you guys for watching, and have a bad day. I'm just kidding. And have a great day.